All right, guys, we just hit 100 subscribers. That's awesome. And so we're going to have a giveaway. Stick around. All right, hey, guys, Addison Smith here. If you're somebody who wants to be able to study the Bible for yourself and maybe not have to go and pay millions of dollars to, on courses and classes and college educations, you know, I spent a lot of money on college education to learn how to study the Bible, but maybe you don't have time to go and do that or the money to go and do that, or maybe you're not old enough to go to college, whether you're a teenager or something, but you just want to dig in deep. Well, that's what this channel is about, is to help you study the Bible more. So if you want to study the Bible better and dig in deep, if you want to love church more and serve like never before, begin now by subscribing to this channel and ringing that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos that can help you in your walk. All right, now, we just recently hit 100 subscribers, and I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. That's super cool. I am really honored and humbled by that. And so this video, I have some tips I'm going to give you for a challenge that's coming up. And then I want to talk about a giveaway that we'll be doing because of the 100 subscribers. And so I want to thank everybody for all the awesome comments that have been coming in. I just see one that came in two hours ago, Rebecca, saying faithful. Awesome. Rebecca, thank you so much. That is, that's encouraging to me. That really is. Jeff Hutchins, I loved your comments. I really did. Those those really made my day. And I'm excited for you, man, because you know, you're on the men's leadership team and you're about to maybe even dive into student ministry. That's super cool. That's so rewarding. This is what I was just talking to my brother about. You get to hold those teenagers' hands, you know, from childhood into adulthood. You get to walk them through those paths. And so I'm excited for you, Jeff. Thank you so much. Now we do have another giveaway coming up. I know you missed the last one, but we do have one coming up today. So make sure you stick around for that. Madison Hughes, faithful, awesome. Mike and Tanya, man, can I tell you guys, you guys are awesome. I love it. I love the, the comments you guys give. And because of you and a couple of the other ones like Joshua and even Jeff Hutchins, we're going to have some more of those Bible study videos coming up. And the challenge was your idea, I believe. And so thank you for that. I'm excited. And then uh, Derek and Josue, man, awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so, oh, and uh, Joshua, I just want to tell you, your book is going to be on the way tomorrow. I was, man, slammed this week. I apologize. I feel terrible. Uh, we had a VBS, which went phenomenally. And that's why I might look all sweaty and tired and maybe discombobulated. Uh, but it was so fun. We had such a good time with the young people. And 17 kids got saved this week. Hallelujah. That's great. And uh, we've got some pies thrown in my face today. It's been a full day. They actually just went home. My wife and kids just went home. And uh, I wanted to stay bound and record this for you guys. And so there it is. Now, I'm spending a lot of time talking about this. So I want to tell you the challenge and dive right into the tips. Okay? The challenge is this. I was texted on Wednesday morning with this question. And I thought this would be a great video. And so the challenge is, what is the helmet of salvation? What is the helmet of salvation? Now, that's a big question. And so let's get into the three tips for studying something like that. Ready? First tip, leave your presuppositions behind. Leave your presuppositions behind. What do I mean by that? I mean, when we come to a text, we have to understand we already have our preconceived notions. We already have our thoughts about it. And sometimes they are in the background, and I'm trying to think of the word right now, but it's something that it's subconscious. And you don't even realize that you already have an assumed thought process or assumed answer to whatever the question is. So I might have just asked you, what's the helmet of salvation? And you might be, oh, I know. I already know that. That's a presupposition. If you haven't spent time studying it, that's a presupposition. And so when you come to study this text, what you need to do is realize you have a presupposition about what it is, Recognize it, set it aside, and study it with fresh eyes. So check your presuppositions at the door. That's tip number one. Tip number two is when, when you're studying a concept, you have to look at the greater biblical context. Okay? So remember, no interpretation of Scripture, no, no prophecy of Scripture of any private interpretation. You can't just take one verse and say, yep, this is what it means. If you don't know this, the helmet of salvation is actually mentioned three times in the Bible. I didn't know that until this guy asked me about it. I literally didn't. I feel like a noob when I say that. But I went and I searched it, and I realized it was in Isaiah, I believe, 59. It's in Ephesians 6, which is the one I knew, in the armor of God, and then also in Thessalonians. And so your job is to step back and not just look at it in, Thess in Ephesians, but to examine it first where it's first mentioned, which is in 
Isaiah, study that passage, which is a super cool passage. Study that passage. Try to figure out what's this helmet of salvation and breastplate of righteousness and who's wearing it in Isaiah. And then as you come into Ephesians, you might recognize that maybe Paul is pulling on that imagery. Why is he using this same terminology and then use also Thessalonians in that same thing to to supplement and to maybe even shed more light on the helmet of salvation. So tip number one, leave a presuppositions. Tip number two, step back out of even the passage in the chapter and the book to the greater biblical context, right? And then step number three is this, make it simple. Make it simple. If it's confusing, simplify, simplify, simplify. It's human nature to complicate things. Try not to make it complicated. Look for the connections meditate on it until it is simple and you can say it in a sentence right what the helmet of salvation is um i don't know if i'll be able to do that i really don't i'm gonna try that's our goal if we can't do it we can't do it but that's the goal is to be able to simplify this this, all the study that we're going to do this week into a sentence so we can answer what's the helmet of salvation well it's this okay those are my three tips for studying the helmet of salvation and so get started Start in Isaiah, study Ephesians, see how they connect, and supplement with Second Thessalonians, and see if they all kind of agree together, or if they are separate things. That's your job, is to study that, and then we will study that together, Lord willing, next week. Okay? And so, let's talk about the giveaway for 100 subscribers, and then the video will be done. Uh, if you haven't watched our How to Study the Bible series, go and watch those in the card. Uh, I'll leave the card up here. Um, but... In those videos, I recommended that you get this book if you're interested in studying the Bible. This is an awesome framework. I really do enjoy this. It's not the one I explained to you, but it's good. And some people will like to do it my way. Uh, Some people like to do it this way. This book, he has his own way of kind of diving into the Bible. He has his um, observation day. He has an interpretation, then application, which we talked about. Look for interpretation before application. And he kind of walks you through a, an actual system for how to study your Bible. And so if you've got this book, there's actually a companion book that goes with it. This explains how to do the Bibbs method. But then there's also, he's put out a devotional like this. This devotional basically is one year and it takes you through um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books of the Bible in a year. And you walk through those books of the Bible with this method where you sit down and you look for the big idea and you look for interpretation and application. And so I'm going to give this away. It's a one-year daily devotional. And let me see if I can open up here. So if you look here, if you're in Romans 1 through 3, you have week 1 and you start reading. And your first day is your reading day. And you're going to read through these chapters and you're going to look for the background And so he said, if you have a study tool like that book that I recommended, you'll go and you'll look at that or maybe something online like Blue Letter Bible. And so all of these things here, I'm not going to walk you through the entire book. But if you're interested in winning this, all you got to do again, like, um, subscribe to the channel and comment below why you want this book. All right. And so I will choose one of you next week when we release our next video. And I will mail this out to you. All right. So thank you guys again for being a part of this. I hope that this made sense. I am literally, I am beat, guys. I really am. Uh, But I wanted to get you guys something out that would be helpful for you and start a challenge. And I also wanted to thank you guys for your awesome comments and love and support. I love it. Let's continue studying the Bible together, guys. Let's continue moving forward. Let's continue standing strong and staying faithful. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.